Hello friends. I'm sitting outside in my yard and the sun is shining on my face and even though it's a bit of a cool fall day um, there's something about that light that just just warms my heart but it's also warming my body. <laughs> it's uh, it's beautiful. Lately we've been struggling in our world and we've been struggling for a lot longer than we thought we would have to struggle and I know many of you have a lot of different struggles that aren't even connected to this pandemic. And sometimes it can feel dark. Sometimes it can feel like we're living in the night, not in the light. And, um, and sometimes it can feel like um, it's never gonna end. And then into that darkness comes a little sliver of hope, a little bit of light, a little bit of, of kind of a message from God. And I don't know how many of you the other night um, looked out and, and saw the amazing Northern Lights. And I tell you, I've not seen anything like that for a really long time. That whole sky just lit up and they danced. It was as if, it was as if God's angels were dancing in our sky. And, um, and I was reminded um, that, that God's light is still here. And it was like God was saying, you know what, I'm still here. Look, look, I'm still here. This is a message for you. I love you. I'm still here. And then last night, as I was coming outside, I noticed the moon. And the moon was shining through some branches. I tried to take a picture, but I couldn't quite get it to look right. And, and again, I thought, wow, there's that light shining into the darkness. God's light is with us. And although it can feel like it's dark, God is with us. God is with us. And I don't know what it is you're dealing with in your life right now that feels dark and hopeless and maybe kind of like it's never going to end. And I know for many of you, this pandemic is just enough already. And then we hear God saying, you know what, I'm here. I'm here. In Ecclesiastes 3.11, we, we see these words, and I think they're very beautiful. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Our God is an awesome God. And our God truly is here, is present, is bringing light into our darkness. and can bring light into our heart and into some of the things that are so hopeless to us and, and that are frustrating us and hurting us. And God says, you know what, I'm still here. I'm still here. See my northern lights. See the leaves that are falling off the tree today. See the sun that shines on your face. Um, just notice that I'm here. I'm here in that, in that text from a friend or from in that, um, in that moment where I speak to you through my word. I'm here. I'm always here and I will make everything beautiful in its time. At the same time, my beauty and my light is with you all the time. I find that to be really comforting in these days and I just wanted to share that today. And, um, and I just would like us to pray together if we can. Let's do that. Lord, thank you. Thank you that even though sometimes everything in life can feel like it's dark, like there's a never-ending shadow with COVID and with so many other things in our lives, it's not just that. And yet, Lord, here you are. You come and you break into our darkness with your light, with your love. You find ways to reach us and to show us that you're still here. And you remind us that you, you are here and as you were like, it's like angels dancing in the sky the other night. You're with us. And Lord, you do care and you do remind us how much you love us in so many ways. And so thank you for these promises today. You make everything beautiful in your time. Thank you that you truly are our God and you are awesome. And that you are with us. Whether it's light, whether it's dark, or whether it's just in between. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So I hope today this is just a little reminder to you. When you're out walking, just have a look around you and just look for God's light. Look for God's, look for God's presence. Look for God's voice into, it, into whatever you're living because God wants to speak into your life. God wants to speak into your moments too, just as he spoke into mine as I was watching the Northern Lights with my family. And God wants to say, I'm here. I'm here for you and I love you. Please don't forget that I love you. So um, I hope this is a comfort to you today, and God bless you, and I hope you have a really great day. Peace be with you. Bye now.